My main area of research is uh, advanced techniques for remote sensing of the environment, including the land, the atmosphere, and oceans. And specifically, my students build microwave systems in the laboratory. So they're involved in everything from the antenna to the Ethernet output. And they, uh, they get extensive uh, experience in real-world systems and then are able to deploy them. For instance, we had some experiments uh, on the uh, various oceans, in the Pacific Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, where people uh, build an instrument and then used it from, say, an oil platform to, uh, at close range, measure the microwave emission from the uh, surface. We have projects going on from the uh, National Science Foundation, Office of Naval Research, and, and the uh, Next Generation Satellite Program called the National Polar Orbiting Operational Environmental Satellite System. Students are working on building on miniaturization of systems for satellites and uh, combining microwave circuit technology with m remote sensing system knowledge. And this is a very unique aspect. I think we're one of the only universities in the world that has that uh, combination. The program sponsored by the National Science Foundation is an exciting program where we're combining ground-based sensors to sense more about the pre-storm conditions in the atmosphere. We are using passive sensors to look at the uh, water vapor and the, the humidity and the temperature in the atmosphere to tell where a storm will likely occur. The students who've worked with me in, in related research now work at places like NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, ESA in Europe, and uh, the Naval Research Laboratory, Army Research Laboratory. So there, there are plenty of, uh, of opportunities for the future. And they, they all focus on a, uh, remote sensing, either of climate, of the Earth's climate, or of other planets. And planetary research is, is very closely related. The Microwave Systems Laboratory is in the engineering building, and it it contains a, a fully equipped microwave laboratory uh, with microwave test equipment. So um, students build the microwave components from, from, from the circuit level, take the, the chips and then wire bond them together and build them into uh, miniaturized systems that are, that are unique in that aspect, that they're low cost, low mass, low volume, and these things are important for satellites, especially when we want to l launch a large number of sensors. Developing sensors of severe weather and climate is exciting, and it's, it's a big challenge to look many years into the future and find out the types of data that we'll need in order to solve these long-range problems. I hope that my legacy will be helping large organizations such as NASA to improve the, the sensors that, that are launched on satellites and to come up with new sensing techniques that have not been thought of before. I'm looking for graduate students who have a, a strong background in electromagnetics and an interest in systems engineering, so an ability to uh, combine different elements of their electrical engineering background or in physics background to, uh, to bear on designing systems. It, it's a unique, unique field and so we spend a lot of effort in, in searching for the right uh, graduate student. And students are encouraged to follow their own interests. If they're more interested in simulation then we get them, I get them involved in that. And I meet with students in the laboratory and in my office and, and uh, develop a research plan that's uniquely suited to their interests. Here, here in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Colorado State University, we have uh, a, a large number of genuine experts in their field, international experts, who uh, teach classes to graduate students and interact with them closely. And we have small classes where people can uh, learn the depths of somebody else's field. And these people are excited about their fields of signal processing, of information technology, parallel computing, VLSI. And even though those aren't my field, my, my students benefit so much from being able to take those classes, including atmospheric science classes.